Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to speak about the week of the month calculation in Power BI. Now, the week number calculation is pretty simple. You have a straight function to be able to find the week uh, number of the week. But in case you'd like to find the week of the month, which is where the week resets every single month. So let's just say that you have three or four, uh, four or five weeks in a month. And after every month, the week resets to the first week. How do you do that kind of thing in Power BI? Let's take a look. All right, I'm in Power BI and that's where I have a simple pivot table, uh, which is where I have the year, the month and, but the weeks are missing. So I would like to find out that for the month of January, what are the three or four, four or five weeks that we have in the month of January, which is where the sales are coming from. Now we'll actually start to create that logic in Excel and implement the same concept in Power BI. Let's just jump over to Excel and try to understand that in case we want to have weeks of the month, not week of the year, how do we do that? All right, in this Excel file, I've written some dates here, starting with the month of uh, February. And the first thing that I do is I find the calendar week number of that particular date. So here you can take a look at that calendar week number of this particular date is the 6th of Feb, which is nothing but a very simple formula, which is the week number. Hey, go find the week number of this date. And this number two denotes that my weeks are starting with Monday, not Sunday, right? Now, once you actually find the calendar week number, you kind of get it across all the dates. The next thing that you do is find the week number of only the start of the date, not the date of during the month, only the start of the date. So take a look. What I have done is I've, able, I've been able to write a formula that actually takes this date always to the start of the month. First, I use the EO month function and I say, hey, take this date to the previous month end, which is let's say 31st of Jan. And once you actually reach 31st of Jan, then you add one to that date. So this formula is nothing but uh, a formula to reach always the start of the current month. Now, once you reach the start of the current month, then I say, hey, find the week number of that. And my week is always starting on Monday. Now, across all of these values, you're going to see number six because number six was the week number on the 1st of Feb right here, right? Now, you can, you're going to see that once I actually take a difference from uh, this number to this number, we're going to have, let's say, this particular value. So if I just maybe say six minus six plus one, that is going to be week number one. But as soon as the week changes to seven, seven minus six is equals to uh, plus one is equals to the second week of the of the month. And then the third week of the month, the fourth week of the month, the fifth week of the month. The same logic can be applied in Power BI. Guess what? All of these functions, uh, the week number functions, the EO month functions are also available in Power BI. And we're going to make use of these functions. OK, back in Power BI, and that's where I have created a column in my calendar table, which is where I have said Monday to Sunday week of the month. This is nothing but the same exact same formula. So I'm first finding out the week of the uh, calendar. Then I'm actually finding the week number of the start of the month, which is this particular function. You can see that it's exactly the same function. No difference. This part actually takes you to the start of the month and then you actually find the week number and your calendar uh, starts. Sorry, the week starts with Monday. All right, uh, and that's all about it. This actually gives you that what week are you in of that particular month. So the first week of the month, sorry, the first week of the month, the second week of the month, the third week of the month, fourth, and then fifth one, right? And then you reset back to one. All right, now if you actually take this particular column and use that in your pivot table, so I can just do that, and you're gonna see that you are now seeing the week of the month sales uh, you know, uh, in your data set, in your, in your pivot table, all right. All right, a twist to that particular problem could be that the week starts with whatever day of the month, the starting day of the month. So if the starting day of the month is actually a Tuesday, then the weeks are going to start from Tuesday and end on Monday. So this becomes the first of the first week of the month. Uh, this becomes the second week of the month and this actually becomes the third week of the month so on and so forth Now we're going to take a look at a slightly different approach uh, Which is where the weeks are going to start on the very first day of the month and carry on for seven days And that's how the week is going to be calculated All right back in my Power BI and that's where I have created another column Which is the seven day week since let's just start to write a ridiculously simple formula that actually does the job. So the first thing that I'm going to do is first find that what day of the month is it? So in terms of the first day of the month, the second day of the month, so on and so forth, the maximum number of days that you're 
can get in a month is 31 days. So that's what is the answer that I'm expecting. So I'm just going to find the write the day function, not the data table, the day function. And in the day function, I'm going to write maybe the calendar date, close the bracket, press enter. And you're going to see that I get the days of the month. So right from the first day of the month till the 31st of the day of the month, and it kind of re resets to one again. Once I've been able to find the day of the month, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a grouping of the days in the factor of seven. What do I mean by that? The first seven days are going to be marked as seven. The next seven days are going to be marked as 14, which is the next multiplier of uh, seven. And the next seven days are going to be marked as 21, so on and so forth. Uh, why am I doing this? Because in one week there are seven days and the week actually starts with the first of the month. So that's why I'm actually doing uh, I'm like a multiplier of seven. How do I do that? There is a very interesting function available in Power BI and in Excel. That function is called the ceiling function. The ceiling function says that, hey, what's your number? And this is my month number, uh, like the day number of the month, whatever, between 1 to 31. And I'd like to convert that to a significance or a multiplier of 7. Close the bracket, commit to the formula. And this is actually take the first seven numbers, push that to seven. The next seven numbers put that, push that to 14, so on and so forth. Right, now let's just do that. I'm just gonna press enter. And you can see that now the first seven numbers are seven, 14, 21, 28, and so on and so forth. Now, once you have got the multipliers of seven or the factors of seven, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use the divide function to actually divide that by seven. And what this is going to do is, this is actually going to create the week number. So now take a look. Seven divided by seven is going to give you one. 14 divided by seven is going to give you week number two. This is going to give you week number three. This is going to give you week number four. And this is going to give you week number five. All right. Now, if I now press enter, you're going to get the weeks. This actually is the answer. Now, the difference between Monday to Sunday week is that you're starting the week always on a Monday. There could be, be a spillover of the week, which is where one day of the month towards the end could be a Monday and that could actually end up in the sixth week of the month. But here you're always going to have uh, a maximum of five weeks in a month. So let's just take a look at the output. In the output, you can see that this was our prior output, which is where we could possibly at times have six weeks in a month, right? That's not possible, but because there is a Monday falling towards in the end of the month, uh, and that's why there is a possibility of having that. But here we always have five weeks uh, of the month and the sales are distributed against those weeks. All right, that was it. Uh, I hope you found this particular trick useful. In case you have any questions, please feel free to drop in a comment and I will be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses. In case you're starting out with Power BI and you would like to learn DAX and Power Query right from scratch, build up your fundamentals first, and then proceed on to solving more challenging, more complex problems of your data, I'd highly recommend that you check out my courses. It's gonna be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for sticking around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.